The owner of the NFL's Washington Commanders has been subpoenaed for questioning by a congressional committee. Dan Snyder has refused to discuss an alleged workplace misconduct and sexual harassment in the commander's organization. Nicole Killian is on Capitol Hill, where she covered a hearing on this yesterday. Nicole, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Nate. And the House Oversight Committee is giving Dan Snyder until next week to appear for a deposition after he failed to show up for yesterday's hearing because he was out of the country. His spokesperson dismissed it as a politically charged show trial. That was my goal and my dream growing up was to be a Redskinette. And, you know, unfortunately, Dan Snyder took that passion out of my dream. A deflated dream for Melanie Coburn, who spent 14 years as a cheerleader and marketing executive for the then Washington Redskins, now known as the Commanders. What would you say was the worst part of your experience? The sexual harassment at every turn. I've, I've been in very dangerous situations where, you know, there's been drinking encouraged. Describing a toxic culture, the House Oversight Committee released a 29-page memo alleging owner Dan Snyder launched a shadow investigation, creating a dossier to discredit his accusers. It also found the NFL allowed him to investigate his own team and influence an independent investigation into misconduct, which has not been released. If the NFL is unwilling or unable to hold Mr. Snyder accountable, then I am prepared to do so. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell would not commit to releasing its internal report, but told lawmakers the team was fined $10 million and has made reforms. We have been open and direct about the fact that the workplace culture at the commanders was not only unprofessional, but toxic for far too long. He was pressed about further action against Snyder. Will you remove him? I don't have the authority to remove him. According to the NFL bylaws and constitution, the commissioner does have the authority to refer disciplinary issues to the league's executive committee. At least 24 of the 32 team owners would need to vote to remove an owner. What do you want to see come out of this process? I want transparency so there can be true accountability. Snyder has denied the allegations against him, calling them outright lies. Commanders head coach Ron Rivera defended the team in a tweet writing, I cannot change the past, but I would hope that our fans, the NFL and Congress can see that we are doing everything in our power to never repeat those workplace issues. Tony. All right, Nicole, thank you very much.